Hey guys, John here, and welcome to a new adventure in Minecraft. Alright, so what are we doing here, you might say? Well, I'm going to tell you. We are going to be diving in to Minecraft 114 Vanilla. There's a lot of new and exciting things, things that I never saw from 113 Mixing in with all of the awesome new updates with 1.14. I'm now playing the full release of 1.14. And it does have a couple of issues that I'm hoping they patch out pretty quickly. But I don't think it's going to affect us too terribly much. I found a new seed, which I'm really excited about. And uh, I have a couple things that I want to show you that I saw around here. Uh, first, we're going to grab all of this stuff, because why not? I know some people don't care for the whole bonus chest at the start thing, but I like it just because it kind of gives you a a place to begin a little more quickly um, without having to, you know, get all of the things, you know, right off. Um, so this is where I spawned literally right here. We've got the ocean and whatever else is going on. So we're going to come over here real quick. I'm going to climb up this sand dune. And we are going to see... What's that? <gasps> There's something there. It is... A sunken ship. Right here. Which is pretty cool, right? So there's that. And you'll see there's a savanna. With some, some nice little hills going on there. Not the most exciting thing in the world, I'm sure, for some of you. You're probably like, eh, whatever. Let's go on over here, and you're about to see what I'm excited about. There are a lot of new things that have been added to the game, and I am looking forward to checking all of them out. I'm also looking forward to making a fresh start. I had considered for a time doing uh, 114 in the other world that I had, the, the new season seven, quote unquote, that I was going to be doing where I, I took a couple of my builds from season six, put it in a new world so I could get new generation and all that stuff. But that actually led to some limitations because I had loaded in a bunch of the world in 1.12. So we didn't have a lot of the new 13 and 14 things easy to find. And so I decided it's time for a fresh start. Now, what was I excited about, you might ask? And I will unveil it to you right about now. Look at this mountain. So this is a new kind of biome which I've never seen before. It's a uh, shattered savanna is what it's called, and it's it's got some of the um, some of the crazy kind of extreme hill stuff that you would see, but without it being in one of those biomes that lets snow fall on it, so it can be super tall and it won't get snow on it, which is super important to me. Um, I hate that all extreme hills biomes just get covered in snow now. It's kind of annoying to me. Um, also, it's a hollow mountain, and you guys know how I love me some hollow mountain. And uh, that's really cool. You can see this trying to take shape over here. It looks like it's just like partially loaded in a big mountain, right? No, that's actually it. It's just this weird jagged like spear thing. It's, it's weird. Um, we might get closer to that later so you can see it. But yeah, look at this mountain. I am super excited about this discovery. Uh, I think we're going to have some absolute fun using this in some way for a build. But uh, that is that actually all. Uh, that's, the, that's the main focal point, yes. But I don't know if we're actually going to be able to see it straight from here. I hope so. But if we come over here. I love cow. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's actually going to pop in for us, but right over there, I think, like on the other side of those hills, 
uh, there's a village. So this spawn has a lot of the things I was really looking for. Ocean access for all the ocean stuff. A really cool mountain that won't get covered in snow and nearby villages. So that is exciting news. Um, first things first, and I'm sorry to do it to you fellows, but you need to die. Because I need wool for a bed. And the reason I need wool for a bed, not just because I'm afraid of the dark, which, I mean, isn't everybody in, in games like this, but <laughs> uh, the main reason is phantoms. That's something else that I haven't experienced yet. Uh, but I do know that we need to sleep regularly in order to prevent phantoms from coming to kill us. So that is something that we need to do. Let me chop down this tree, even though I got a few logs from my bonus chest. I just want to make sure I'm set. And then we will grab some cobble as well so that we can get some decent starter tools going for us. All right. And yeah, I, uh, I'm sorry for those that might have been interested in seeing me continue the other world. Uh, rather, I was going to do the... Uh, the, uh, what you call it, the, um, I'm drawing a blank, I'm drawing a blank, the vanilla plus thing that I was going to do where I added some mods, um, I was going to just add a few mods, add some cool new things, but still keep it kind of a, a 1.13. What? was that did you hear that sound like a ufo taking off that was freaking creepy anyway uh yeah so i had uh i had the idea of doing it like with mods in 113 where i could still experience the new stuff in vanilla but also have a few mods uh and had those builds that i had copied over into that world and all that good stuff but in the end, like I said, it was limiting me to pre-rendered chunks and having to travel a distance to find new things. And I wasn't sure how compatible it would be going forward. Plus, the mods aren't going to be updated for 114 for a while. So it's like, you know what, never mind all that. Let's start fresh and, uh, and see what we get. Um, so let's see. I wanted to get some, some cobble, I said, and then I sort of just walked over here. But I think it's easier to get to the village from this angle anyway. I do want to check that out, but I know it's really easy to, to die in those <laughs> because uh, the whole water mechanic thing is different now too. Um, not just the swimming, but like how you breathe. You can't just refresh your oxygen by placing a torch uh, like you used to because that only gets you like one bubble back. It doesn't give you the whole thing back. So uh, that is kind of unexpected. I, uh, I wasn't expecting them to do that, though it makes a lot more sense. It is a little more of a pain now to, uh, to deal with underwater stuff. Ouch. <laughs> First damage of the, of the game. Here we go. Um, so like here's a spot that I don't mind digging up. So we'll just take some some cobble from here and this way we can get some tools on the go and then we will head over and take a look at that uh, village and here's some coal right here which I'm also going to grab all right oh it is getting dark I did not notice that um 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 give me a workbench get uh, a bed on the go here before we get murdered. It's going to be a plain old white bed to get started and sleep. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Oh man, that was uh, kind of scary. But we are fine. Uh, I will go ahead and break that because we definitely don't intend on living out here. Go ahead and make some tools like so. Uh, come on now. <laughs> Remember how to play video games, John. Remember how to play video games. All right. 
do that. Uh, we will make torches for sure. You out of there, you out of there. All right, we've cleaned up our... Uh, I didn't make a sword. That's kind of important, to be honest. So let's do that. Not sure what I was thinking. Let's do that, and there we go. All right. So we're doing okay so far. We uh, we have not died. We got ourselves a bed so that we won't get murdered in the night. And uh, yeah, got a little bit of food on us too, but we definitely want to find more. All right, so I'm gonna head over here until we can see this village. I don't think it's too awful far away. And there it is, just hopping right over there. Comes into sight, and you can see some of uh, the new changes you, you can get with these villages. Definitely not like your average typical village that we used to get. Uh, they can be different, you know, color styles and material styles. They can have different things around. Very cool indeed. They have these bells like the town meeting things plus can uh, be a way of keeping track of enemies hello little guy how's it going just got a flower in here somehow um villages are a great place not only to get food as they used to be though they do stay on top of replanting it and stuff which makes it a little harder for us to ransack it like we normally would what is that is that a desert village right there Dude, that's insane. Um, but not only that, but it's a good place to get a bed now because all these houses have beds in them, so that's neat. Look at this over here. It's like a little uh, little animal pen thing with like a uh, partial awning, and there's like water. That's a really cool touch. I like that they've made these places seem more realistic, more, more uh, like somebody built this rather than just copy and pasted square little houses or whatever, you know? Um, and I like how it's just like up the hill there, but it doesn't look all janky as it sometimes would when it blended in the terrain. There's still the occasional stuff you'll see that, like that, but still, I'm uh, I'm really happy with, with what they've done with this stuff for sure. If, uh, if we go over here though, is this like a full-on village? I think it is. That's so cool. And hey, there's a ship here. Let's check it out. Is this a full-on sunken ship, just partially above the water where I could easily get some loot? We will find out. Is there a chest? Is there a chest? Can't really get in here. Hold on. Whoops. Give me that. Alright, is there... There is a chest. Oh my gosh, look at this! Right off the bat we get iron. Some gold nuggets, iron nuggets, and emeralds. Wow. What a freaking find. Our first iron, and we don't even have to mine it. It's just right there. That's cool. Gotta be careful, though. We might get attacked by uh, what are known as the drowned. Or as Justin and I call them, Ben. <laughs> because we're old and we quote memes that are no longer relevant um all right so let's go over here and have ourselves a look see at this other village which i really didn't expect to have one right next to the first one we found this is awesome and i do love deserts and desert villages and sandstone and oh hello i wasn't expecting you to be around here That was odd. Having trouble hitting him, but there we go. We got there in the end. Um, but yeah, I do love building the sandstone and stuff too. <laughs> you are having issues. But these houses are really cool. I love that they change these things up the way they have. It's 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 awesome. It has variety. Oh, there's a lectern, some books that we can harvest. You know what? I'm just going to steal these because I can. Uh, lectern, you can place books on. 
and easily write and read them. What was that? What was that sound? Is that a... I'm not sure what that was. <gasps> it's a dolphin! I thought that might be what it is. Hi, dolphin! You're so cute! That's another thing, is the new swimming animations. Look at me go. Oh, man. It's so awesome. It really is. Hello. And I get a speed boost because of the dolphin. Ha. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's an awesome thing. But, again, that's not new to a lot of you guys because you, you've known about <laughs> the ocean update. Me, not so much. Um, so, yeah, we come up here. There's more of the village. And you can see the villagers each have different like appearances too in these places. Some look like the traditional old uh, villagers and some have wildly different outfits. Got an iron golem policing around. And what's this over here? I'm not sure. It's like a ruins. Apparently that's something else that you can find is is, is areas like that as well. There's a sun at, okay. It's still early yet. But yeah, so this is quite a big village and oh, well, you guys are in a bad way. Might help them out later. I definitely don't want to hang out in a village, though, because there are the illagers who will come in a raiding party and, and attack and kill everybody. And if you don't beat all of them, then your your whole village will die, and it's, it's a really bad time. <laughs> we experienced that on stream recently, and uh, even with all of us working together, we had a hard time with it. So it's definitely not something I want to deal with on my own until I'm better equipped. But, yeah, it's going to be awesome to have these villages here because trading is a lot different and better than it used to be. So that's going to give us a lot of opportunities. And again, you know, the usual f things of having materials and food and stuff around early is, is helpful as well. But, uh, I, as I said, I'm not going to be trying to live with the villagers, uh more for their own protection than anything. So let's actually head back over towards where I spawned. And we are gonna set up our first base camp. But now remember, one of the main focal points, if not the, the main focal point, is going to be that mountain and the kind of cool stuff that I envision doing with that mountain. Um, I'm not calling this series Hollow Mountain or Hollow Mountain 2 or anything like that. Um, even though I was tempted when I saw it, like, oh, I'll just make that the whole thing because there's so many other things to explore. So this is just going to be, you know, Minecraft with John. No, no seasons, no, no, no side notes, just, just some, some fun times, some new experiences. And, uh, and I hope that you guys are excited about it and want to be a part of it. Well, I'll be a part of it in the comments, but letting me know ideas for builds or some new things I should check out. I mean, I've never even gone to a freaking end city. I've never flown with Elytra other than messing around in creative one time. I've never done any of those things. So this is, this is kind of a new experience from like 12, 13, and 14 for me. So we've got a lot, a lot to check out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I think I'm going to go right over here, and you guys are probably going to make fun of me for this. But I'm going to go kind of old school here from my first, my first place. I'm just going to dig into this hill, and I'm going to make a home out of it. I know, not the most exciting thing in the world, for sure. But we need to get something established that we can put our bed in, that we can put a chest down. And we can start making plans for real builds. And I have always found that the quickest and easiest way to protect yourself from the elements is to just dig into a hill, make a little hidey hole, do it Kurt J. Mack style, yeah. Torch over the bed. Uh, where's my bed? There it is. Do that. That's not where I want it. Back one, please. There we go. So it's not catching on anything. Take ourselves a little snooze. 
that the phantoms won't come a calling. Though at some point I'll probably show them off by allowing them to find me. Um, but for now, I'd, I would rather not. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's go over here and throw down this. It's probably not. You know what, let's, whoops. Let's not do it right at the head of the bed. I was just saying I don't want things like glitching into it there. Let's do this right here. This is what's happening. We're gonna do this and we are going to do one of these. And we are gonna do one of these. And there we go. Got the essentials, so let's throw away some stuff. Uh, I will use this to cook with, and the axe as well. That we don't need anymore. But let's put. You know, let's start cooking the fish. Uh, we will put away some of these things that we found. So let's say. Um, I guess we'll do that. Uh, and let's see, this, this, and this. Oh, I already had a chest. What's wrong with me? Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do that. And we'll do that. Oh, they don't connect like that anymore. I forgot. I forgot. Um. Yeah, yeah. There. <laughs> Whatever. We'll clear this out. We'll clear this out. Um, yeah, that's strange and going to take some getting used to, isn't it? All right. Anyway, we got ourselves some cooked food. I guess technically we can we can do that as well. But let's throw this in here. That keep some 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 stuff on us here, like so. And yeah, that looks pretty good for now. Let that cook. Go outside, make sure there's nothing on top of our heads here. We will throw a couple torches down up top and out in front. Go. Just make sure that the area is relatively safe. We will do this right here. Oh, I forget you get three doors from one recipe. It's kind of crazy. Uh, we're going to do the old door trick. Oh, you can't do the old door trick anymore, can you? No, you cannot. You know what? I'm a little sad about that. I'm not going to lie. Wait. Yeah, you can. You just have to. You can't just stand in it anymore. See, the idea is is that when it's like this, it thinks it's open, so zombies can't knock it down. Yeah, you just can't stand there like you used to in the spot. Okay, that's fine. Let's put away some of that. Yeah, we'll just leave that in there. All right, cool. So. That is going to be it for this first episode. I know, not a crap ton of stuff was done. I get it. But you got a little taste of what I have in store. There's a giant mountain over there that I want to do awesome things with. We've got two villages that we're going to get some stuff from. There's sunken ships and things to explore in the water. There's a lot of new enemies. There's a lot of new experiences to be had. Um, I never even found one of those freaking mansions out in the woods, uh, that you can find. I mean, there's so many things that I want to do in this series, and I hope that you'll be excited about joining me on the ride. So, until next time, I will say thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hammer that like button, share with a friend, subscribe if you're new to join the Wolf Pack, and I'll see you guys next time for more. Bye!